Today on our show, we'll be covering updates on bowling, football, and volleyball, as well as highlighting two different religious groups on campus. We'll have all this and more on today's episode of Bear TV News. Hello, UPI viewers, and welcome to the Fall 2021 edition of Bear TV News. I'm Ben Tate. And I'm Jack Mefford. We are covering the most recent news in and around the UPI community. The holiday season is fast approaching, and with it, many of us might be doing some spiritual searching, or at least saying a few prayers for your final exams. If you are looking for a group on campus to explore your faith, you might be surprised to know that UPI has multiple options. Are you looking for a spiritual pick-me-up? Consider checking out Bug. No, not the creepy, crawly kind. I'm talking about Blessed Unity of God, a campus spiritual life group that has had a long-standing presence at the University of Pikeville. 20 years ago, Bug came out. Sheena Shepard, she and a bunch of her college friends, they got tired of the party stigma of campus and they just they all grew up in spiritual backgrounds and they wanted to start a more intimate, close-knit group on campus. Although there are multiple religion groups on U Pike's campus, each one has a unique style that might be the perfect fit for you. I know there's other groups on campus where it's like a lesson and it's more structured. And I think Bug is more like free will, like more discussion based. Sometimes people come in here with lessons planned and then we just sit here and talk about life and maybe something's going on with somebody and we just want to help them. While Bug has a staff leader, students have a significant say in the speakers and the topics discussed at Bug. This was my first time speaking and I've been coming since my freshman year. Sometimes we have people from the community and they speak. It's really just, it's, it's a week by week thing. It's very casual. Some people may feel intimidated by the process of attending a bug service, especially if they don't know anybody there. Everyone we spoke with, though, wanted to alleviate those concerns. We welcome everyone. I mean, either if you have never read the Bible or picked up the Bible in your entire life, or I mean, you are, you have been to seminary, you're a scholar, we will welcome you. You know, we just kind of talk about our problems, so we're all in this together, so. The people in Bug are a fun group to hang out with for an evening, and if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you check them out. This is Nehemiah Carnes reporting for Bear TV News. And while Bug is a long-standing and welcoming campus group, there is another option that has recently started up. There are a number of different religious groups that meet on campus, and if you're looking for one that is a bit more laid back, Check out Crew on Mondays at 7.30 in the we'll Newbike Chapel. Crew actually began with a little help from a rival university. There was a team leader from Warhead State. They had, a, they had a crew program there. There was a crew movement going on there. And they had reached out to a couple of the uh, um, coaches on campus, and they are just like, we are here to uh, share the gospel, teach people how to share the gospel. And we are like, oh my gosh, let's do it right now! Because it, it was just it was incredible. Crew is open to anyone interested in learning more about Christianity, whether you are religious or not. I grew up Christian, but show up on campus, I have no idea how to communicate that to anybody. Crew has offered a safe space with incredible community with some of my best friends that I've ever had. Crew is not only changing the lives of those that come to learn more, but those that lead as well. I've learned in my life here recently that's you know, just strengthening my walk with the Lord is just things that I learn right before I'm going to go to teach other people too. And it's just really cool to walk that out and see the Lord just work through that. The group's hope is that they can foster a close community to help more students understand the gospel and lead a positive life in our campus community. The fruits I've seen from that. My greatest experience in CRT Pike. Everyone needs a crew in their life, and we would love to have you at ours here at the University of Pikeville. My name is Chad Kelly, Bay TV News. Recently, we concluded our campus celebration of Halloween. 
We had a large number of events, including the annual U-Pike Horror Fest and a Halloween dance. I was able to report on one such special event held in the cafeteria. On Thursday, October 28th, students were coming to the City View Cafe between 5 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. to carve pumpkins for the upcoming holiday. It's a way for people to use their ideas and put them on a pumpkin. If I'm correct, last time we did it, we put it outside, so it's also a way to show that there's a community on there's no registration required for this event. All you had to do was show up at the City View Cafe and you got to pick out a pumpkin. Students would then be able to get their tools and begin carving away. Or then students were allowed to take their pumpkins back to their dorm or just put it outside and show the world. I, all I can think about is COVID and how much it's disrupted society. Especially like these masks, it just, oh man. I, this isn't the only event hosted by the University of Pikeville during Halloween. The following night, Friday, October 29th, from 9 p.m. to midnight, there was a Halloween bash held by the Black Student Union. And on Halloween itself, students in the ACE program could stop by the ACE office to celebrate festivities with their staff members. Even though Halloween has already passed, students can find more events hosted by the University of Pikeville on campus groups. This has been Jack Mefford with Bear TV News signing off. While UPike had a significant number of Halloween themed events on campus, at least one of our faculty members was able to host a special horror themed event off campus. The Broken Throne has been fantastic for the community of Pike County. And with Trivia Night tonight, it's even brought in a college professor and college students as well, bringing us even closer. I just like learning about movies and stuff. I really like Professor Daryl's class, pretty ignorant, you know what I'm saying? If they, someone comes here and they have a good time, even if they don't have a great time, or not, if they don't like get every question right, I mean, um, it's still really fun for people to like unload that knowledge, kind of like brain dump. Uh, it's movie trivia, you know. You ask some questions about some movies, you know, uh, compete, see who's best. Obviously, we're going to win, you know, for my team. It's good. It's always good for the community to have this sort of camaraderie. Campus, it brings to a college town. Because Pikeville should very much be a college town. I'm Austin Williams, and this has been Bear TV News. We now turn to our campus sports update. For our first story, I spoke with some new faces that have been leading our new U Pike football team. For the 2021 football season, the U Pike Bears got a new head coach in Corey Phipps. Corey came from Kentucky Christian University with the mission to improve and revamp the overall performance of the team. We spoke with several assistants on their approach on how to turn around the team. Coming into this season, I felt that the most important thing was to start to, to get to know the people that we had here, who have been here, who have been working their tails off to, to help this program out. Getting to know that and encourage and, and start to bring in our philosophy, bring in our goals, bring in our personalities. While the coach may have a good plan, it was ultimately up to the players to respond. I knew that what the coaches wanted, I knew that they really wanted to rebuild something here, re, re change the culture, re change the atmosphere. The more you get to know people on a personal level and, and what the way they think, the way they act and interact with other people, the more you're able to push the right buttons and, and help them reach their potential. The coaching staff's unique approach treats the team more like brothers than co-workers. My big goal is helping create the environment that he wants. You know, I think my my style and you know what I'm looking to do and how I coach people up fits really well because you know we're trying to build uh, a football team here built off the family model, not off the business model. Part of playing as a team is serving as a backup to other players, so that when you're needed, you can rise to the occasion and support your brothers. My advice for student athletes, I would say, is go to class, really. And as an athlete, you just got to give your all, man, every chance you get. You never know when your opportunity is going to come. Uh, my freshman year, I didn't get much opportunity. The following year after that, I won first team in my conference. While the team has had a number of close games slipped through their fingers, they are proud of what they've accomplished so far this season. And they're excited to see what's in store for the future. I'm Ben Tate, and this is Bear TV News. From special teams to spikes, we now move to the gym for a report from Luisa Diaz on the U-Pike women's volleyball team. 
After missing a season because of COVID-19, we were finally able to watch some of our favorite birds competing this fall. Between those is the volleyball team, which had a rough start. The birds lost their first 15 games in a row, but after beating Alice Lloyd in straight sets, the team reacted and won several games against teams like Bethel University and Georgetown College. This year, the team had several auditions, with a total of five new players. Between those is Daniel Hernandez, a transfer student from Kentucky Christian University. I came to Youth Pike because I got a better opportunity here. It was overall a better fit. I've been pretty surprised at how different the culture is and how diverse it is here. I think our team performance this year was uh, pretty good. We had a better record this year than we did last year. We won a lot more sets this year than we did last year. Without counting the conference playoffs game, the team led by Owen Gillis will end their fall season with an overall of 5 to 25. From Youth Pike, this is Luis Ayas for Verse News. As a student athlete, I can attest to the difficulty of balancing my duties on the field with my work in the classroom. I can't imagine trying to play two sports, but that is just what one of our own U Pike students is doing. Reporter Erica Sisk has more. Being a student athlete is very demanding, and you have to be careful balancing one's time between academics and their sport, plus any free time you might desire. But have you ever wondered what it's like playing two sports and taking your college courses at the same time? I'm here to introduce you to Vanessa Fuzzi, who practically does it all. Vanessa is a two-sport athlete, which is very hard in collegiate sports. Between juggling classes and both practices, it's astonishing how much she actually gets done, really. But she gets it done, and she's a 4.0 student, so congrats to her on that. At times, it does get a little bit overwhelming, but I make sure to take a break and take a breather every once in a while to have some alone time with my friends or do whatever else I want to do. To balance the sports and school, it takes a lot of dedication and time management skills and she has it down pat if she's a 4.0 student. I am making lifelong friends in both of my sports and I would not have it any other way. And this is awesome. Like, it's great to have her on the team and, and how hard she works and she's the one of the best athletes that we've seen come through. I'm Erica Sisk, Bear TV News. Thanks, Erica. Well, that wraps it up for today. We'll return next semester with a new show every month from our broadcasting class. Thank you for watching. I'm Ben Tate. And I'm Jack Mefford. This has been your fall 2021 edition of Bear TV News.